Web Design Principles and Best Practices Towards the end, you are able to describe web design principles and their application. To conduct a checking on the best practices of web design or website. Web design is more than just slapping HTML tags up onto a page. By using the web design principles, uh, it will help you to build more pleasing and useful design. Web design principles suggest how a designer can best arrange the various elements of a page layout in connection to the overall design of the website. And to create effective and pleasing arrangement of text and graphics, so we should consider the following. How many colors are used? The size of the fonts are used in the website. How many columns of text there are in the website and whether the pictures appear next to each other or spread across the page. All these uh, factors will have a contribution to the effectiveness and the pleasing arrangement of the website. And the principles of web design are alignment, balance, Consistency, contrast, proximity, and also white space. For alignment, this is how you align type and graphics on the page in relation to each other that can make your layout easier or difficult to read. And alignment is also to foster familiarity for the users or the viewers bring excitement to a stale or a boring design and common alignment is to align at the top bottom left right or centered between blocks of text or graphic that is used in a web page text alignment it should not hinder readability of the page where all during the design of the page this url will lead you to a web page which has this design. Can you comment in terms of the alignments of this web page? How do you find the alignment and the arrangement of the layout? Second principle is on balance. Balance means distribution of heavy and light animal elements on the page. And the larger, darker elements appear heavier in the design than smaller or lighter elements. And the principle of balance shows how to lay out your page so that they work with ease for the viewers. The page is of a balanced page. Repetition or consistency in terms of the arrangement and also the appearance of the elements of the website. It shows to readers where to go and help them navigate your design and the layout of the website easily. And also, it's to ensure that document utilizes the principles of repetition, consistency and unity in the page design, especially for other sections of the website. Patterns are easy for humans to comprehend and to follow and they will have the ideas or the feeling of intuitiveness when following the web page. Repetition provides patterns that make your site easier to comprehend. In terms of contrast, it is more to contrast than to use the color. In design, big and small elements black and white text, square and circles can all create contrast in the design for the page. Contrast helps different uh, design elements to stand out. Proximity, how close together or far apart elements are placed, suggests a relationship or a lack of relationship between the parts were put together. Unity is also achieved by using 
a third element to connect distant parts together. In terms of proximity, can you evaluate your web page whether the titles elements that you use in a web page are together and is contact information all of the contact information are in one place do frames and boxes tie together or separate related elements in your document all these questions will assist you in order to put a certain or similar content in a proximity so that it is ease for the viewers. White space. Design that try to cram too much text and graphic onto one page are uncomfortable or maybe impossible to read. And white space give your design some breathing room so that it is ease for the viewers or the readers. Let's study some websites. Choose two websites and review their web design from the perspective of web design principles mentioned in this lecture. Preferable, uh, one is a good design and another website is a not so good or bad design. This do share your ideas with the rest of your peers and these are some suggestions of the website that has been put in set A or group A and also in set B. Discuss which website is better designed. Web design, some best practices. Ter Terry Morris has uh, practiced uh, her list third checklist on the following important components of web design in terms of the checklist for the web page layout and also the browser compatibility, navigation and checklist for the color used and the graphic used in the website in terms of the multimedia uh, assets or content used in the website, content presentation, functionality and also accessibility of the website. Please navigate to this URL to study about this checklist by Terry Morris. And these are some extra reading uh, URL 